Imagine a warship so advanced, it stands as the crown jewel of the UK's naval defense. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Meet the Type 45 destroyer, one of the most powerful vessels ever built by BAE Systems for the UK Ministry of Defense. But what truly makes this formidable destroyer stand out? Is it its unmatched strength? Cutting edge technology? Or something even more impressive? On January 21st, 2024, the answer became clearer with a game-changing announcement. Three new contracts worth 400 million pounds to upgrade its already legendary Sea Viper air defense system. This is not just an upgrade, it's a strategic move to ensure the Type 45 destroyers remain at the forefront against modern threats. These enhancements include various vital elements. The Sea Viper weapon system is now equipped with more advanced sensors, a more responsive command and control system, and smarter missiles. A highlight of this upgrade is the Aster 30 missile, now featuring an updated Block 1 warhead and new guidance and seeker software. The multifunctional Samson radar and Type 45 combat management system have also seen significant upgrades. All of this indicates that the Type 45 is not only surviving, but also rapidly adapting to ever-changing threats. However, in the global naval arena, the question arises, can the Type 45 outperform the US Navy's Arleigh Burke destroyers or will it struggle to escape the shadows of obsolescence? Let's delve deeper. After the Cold War, the world entered a new era filled with challenges. The need for advanced air defense systems became increasingly urgent. The emergence of nations with strong militaries and the development of weapon technologies, such as missiles, posed real threats. Amid these changes, the Daring Class, or Type 45 destroyer, was born for the Royal Navy at the beginning of the 21st century. These ships were designed not only to counter air attacks, but also to combat piracy and deliver humanitarian aid when needed. With cutting-edge technology, the Type 45 has become a source of pride for the British Naval Fleet. The fleet consists of six units. HMS Daring, Dauntless, Diamond, Dragon, Defender, and Duncan. Each is specifically built to address air and missile threats. However, as we examine the Type 45, one might wonder if this vessel can compete with the Arleigh Burke, Zumwalt, or French Horizon classes. In terms of role, the Type 45 focuses on air defense, while the Arleigh Burke offers more balanced multi-role capabilities. Daring class is slightly smaller, weighing around 7,350 tons. Each destroyer features advanced radar and missile systems that vary, making them unique in the naval world. Is it the ruler of the seas and skies? Let's look at the Type 45, an impressive destroyer, at 152 meters long and capable of reaching speeds of up to 30 knots, it can cruise up to 7,000 miles. Interestingly, its exterior design is very sleek. Equipment and life rafts are stored behind panels, giving it a clean and organized appearance without clutter on deck. On the flight deck, the Type 45 is equipped with a hangar that can support a Merlin helicopter. This helicopter not only serves to locate and destroy enemy submarines, but also performs maritime patrols, casualty evacuations, and search and rescue missions at any time. Moreover, the Type 45 boasts an advanced communication system called Fully Integrated Communications System 45. 
This system allows the ship to make voice calls, intercom, and conferencing, both on board and with external parties. What truly makes this vessel stand out is the Sea Viper missile system. The Royal Navy believes the Type 45 is the best maritime deterrent. This system can target and destroy multiple threats simultaneously, protecting forces and fleets from air and missile attacks. In less than 10 seconds, the Type 45 can launch eight missiles and guide up to 16 missiles at once. From afar, the circular Samson radar stands tall on this ship. With the capability to detect threats from over 250 miles away, this is no ordinary radar. Samson can perform multiple functions simultaneously, offering wide range and accuracy while being resistant to enemy jamming. The Type 45 is truly a vessel ready to face any challenges at sea. Like a busy and spirited damaged ship, in early July 2024, HMS Duncan, one of the Type 45 destroyers, was on an important mission in the Eastern Mediterranean. Together with a U.S. task force, consisting of the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower Carrier Strike Group and the USS Wasp Amphibious Ready Group, the results were impressive. Duncan demonstrated its combat capabilities while managing multiple incidents on board. On July 26, 2024, the Royal Navy also announced that HMS Duncan and Royal Air Force Typhoon conducted anti-drone exercises in the Mediterranean. These exercises aim to develop tactics and procedures against aerial threats. However, behind all the cheers and pride, the challenges faced by the Type 45 destroyers cannot be hidden. From technical issues with the Rolls-Royce engines on HMS Diamond to excessive maintenance, these concerns are mounting. The weaponry of the Type 45 is also considered inferior compared to Japan's Maya class and the U.S. Arleigh Burke class. There have been instances where the ship's lights suddenly went out, adding to the list of challenges to be faced. The question now is whether this will serve as a continuous reminder and evaluation for the UK. As time goes on, there is always hope for improvement. Is the UK prepared to keep upgrading? Will it struggle to keep pace with the innovations of American destroyers? Leave your thoughts and thanks for watching.